Hey guys, it's Julie and I've got Ms. Maple, who is a big girl and a strong girl. And she doesn't think twice about pulling as hard as she can. And she will pull somebody's arm out of their socket one day. This girl is 90 pounds and it, like a locomotive. Um, just oh, zero handler awareness, zero care that someone's on the other end of the leash. Her owners say that walking her has become a battle of the wills. The prong collar helps a little bit, but she pulls through it. Um, so we're gonna get her walk looking much better. Another major problem is jumping. Can you imagine a 90 pound dog jumping on you? She doesn't let people do her nails, too excited. So you've got a 90 pound dog jumping on you that has sharp nails, not fun. So we're gonna be working on leash walking, on and off leash, healing, impulse control. She knows her commands, but as you can see in the drop off video, she holds it for about a 10th of a second and then she's right back up. Um, I also noticed a little bit of whining. So we'll be working on all the commands, the stay and the impulse control, walking nicely and the recall. She doesn't have a recall, um, so she doesn't come when called. They do have an electric fence, so she's not gonna run away and she respects that, but it would still be nice to have a dog who comes when called. And that's even useful inside the house if you need her to get to you. Of course, we'll be working on the place command. The owner has tried based on our videos to teach her, but, and she'll go, but she won't stay. So that's like 80% of the place command is staying when told. So stay tuned as we get Ms. Maple on a better path so her family can actually enjoy her more. Oh, she's a big girl. Oh, yeah. So you just want to talk a little bit about why you decided to send her some of the issues? Yeah, so she, um, I feel like when we got her as a puppy, right, she, I taught her a lot of commands and she does sit, <laughs> sit. And she's pretty obedient with commands when it's just her and I, but any distraction, right? Just like right now, she loses all impulse control and sit. And she's just too big to not have control of her. Like when I go get her nails trimmed, it's like I have to put the leash behind my body. She's just too big to be out of control on a leash. And you know, if we want to play with her out in the front yard and somebody walks by or a car comes, she's just all over it and just no recall whatsoever. Um, so things like that, mainly just impulse control, Got reactivity, it. no aggressiveness whatsoever. It's not an aggressive reactivity. It's just a jumpy in your face. I want your love, that kind of thing. Got it. That's it. Walking has be, it's gotten better as she's gotten a little older. The prong really helps the most, but it's still not great. I mean, she'll tug on that thing. If we're out, like if it's just her and I, it's okay. But a squirrel, a human, a car, right? She's just, she's got some pain on her too. Sorry about that. For the longest time to um, use the place command and she knows it, but she doesn't stay in it. She just goes, sits, and then she's right back up. She won't stay. Yes. So we got you on that. No problem. And I need her to place, right? If someone's driving in the driveway, I don't want her to jump on the car. I don't want her to jump on them. Um, jumping in general is a big problem. Um, it's worse for men because my husband plays with her that way. So if you walk in my house, the first thing she's going to want to do is jump on you. And she's just too big. Yeah. 